What's up? type of human beings in the world like you got your normal people you got your intelligent people and then you got some stupid dumb down people I feel like with stupid dumb down people there's no saving them there <laughs> I mean maybe one in a million but like I feel like there's no there's no saving them like as if like you could go tell a normal person something or you could be talking to a normal person and you could give them uh, ideas you could open their mind up to uh, new conversations to new things that's not very uh that's not like a successful situation when it comes to a stupid dumb down person so um, you know I'm very health conscious, and um, I do a lot of stuff to help keep my uh, body, mind, spirit, and soul the way it is. So, um, I remember when uh, I started learning about herbs, I was jumping into, um, I learned about Dr. Uh, Sabi. And uh, I watched all the Dr. Sabi's interviews, and I read all his articles, uh, went to his website, went through his website up and down, read everything, studied everything, researched everything, and, um, like, yeah, Dr. Sabi was the truth when it came to the herbs and all of that, like, he put me onto something new, or he opened my mind up to a whole new caliber of knowledge. <clears throat> um, but like, I remember once I got invited to a Dr. Sabi uh, group on Facebook, and like, I was trying to share information to this Dr. Sabi group on Facebook, and then like. They just kept deleting my posts and telling me that, oh, this herb and that herb isn't, this herb and that herb isn't on Dr. Savy's list of herbs, of approved herbs. But like, rest in peace to the man, he's dead and gone. Like, so you have people that made a Facebook page in the memory of Dr. Savy. But then again, don't have no clue of what was in Dr. Sabi's mind. No one knows that besides, there's only one person who I could say could vouch for Dr. Sabi, who could say this and that on this list and that list. This isn't approved and that that isn't approved. There's only one person that I could think of, and that is, um, what's his name? Um... Pablo Medina. Hold on, let me see. Uh, is it? Yeah, Pablo Medina. Pablo Medina. That is the man who saved Dr. Savi's life. Pablo Medina. The man from Mexico. The naturalist from Mexico. He saved Dr. Savi's life. 
when Dr. Sebi was dying and he was fat and he was sick. Um, if you watch enough of his interviews and you get to the interview where he talks about um, when he was younger um, and he was dying off of the foods he was eating and the fast foods and stuff like that. And he tried all the doctors, he tried all the diets, he tried all the little uh, plans or whatever people made. And then he said he heard of a man, uh, he was in Mexico, he went to Mexico because he heard there was somebody who could help him there. And he met Pablo Medina. And when he met Pablo Medina, um, when he met Pablo Medina, Pablo Medina taught him everything he knew, plus more. It wasn't like Dr. Sebi just got up one day and was like, this is what I wanted to do. No, Doc, uh, Pablo Medina showed him the way. You see what I'm saying? And now what, what I'm trying to say is I feel like people are taking Dr. Sebi's, uh, the the is all and be all, the end all and be all. It's not like that. That Dr. Sebi isn't the end all and be all solution for anything. And I know this from experience and from uh through my research. You know, I graduated college as a pharmacy tech and um taking plenty of medical classes and natural health classes and uh just on my own studying at home. So uh I, I just I remember when I was in that uh that uh, that Facebook group they made for Dr. Savy, rest in peace, and like I was posting stuff because people were asking like, you know, I need help with this, I need help with that. And I'm giving them recommendations, natural recommendations, natural medicine recommendations, and like, oh, but then like the moderators of the group on Facebook page of Dr. Sebi's Facebook page or whatever, the moderators would start deleting my comments and this and that and the other. And, you know, I asked them why. And they said, because the herbs and natural medicines that I'm on posting is not on Dr. Sebi's approved herb list. So I'm like, are you serious? Are you serious? That shit don't even make sense to me because I wonder what Pablo Medina would say about that. You see what I'm saying here? The man who taught Dr. Sebi what he knows and Dr. Sebi was just a um, example for people to go off of and run off of. Dr. Sebi wasn't a person that you're supposed to um, get on your knees and pray to as if this is the God, the herb God. No, because knowledge, intelligence, wisdom, and education goes beyond one person. And speaking from experience, um, what I'm going to say about like Dr. Shavy is, okay, let's just use this for example. So, so what happens when you do take the um, herbs and you do cl herbal cleanses and you stu and you do start breaking down all the um, what you might call it um, the um, parasites, the worms, the tapeworms, you know, the things that cause havoc. So when you're doing your like yearly, monthly or quarterly uh, parasite cleanse or whatever, what happens when you do that and you killing all that stuff and through your intestines into your colon, into your walls, and there's things sticking around your walls now like there's things that have dug up in there and who knows how long stuff has been in your colon right let's just be honest here so let's just say there's a a, a buildup of dead parasites in your in your colon 
How you gonna get that out? Are you gonna poop it out? Are you gonna go on Dr. Sabi's approved herbs list and get it out? No, you're not. You have to do something called an enema where you push fluid through your rectum, your anus, into your colon and let it sit in there for a while. Let it moisturize, let it loosen up for about 15 minutes. If you could go that long, it ain't head to the toilet. It ain't all comes out. I'm talking about parasites, dead worms, dead parasites, old food, uh, mold, mungus, all of it. It starts coming out. So that's the only thing like I have against like uh, the Dr. Sabi group on Facebook is that uh, I ha yeah, they might be, they think they're trying to help people, but they're not going to help enough people the way they're doing it by telling people, oh, well, you know, black seed, black seed. I mean, anybody in Africa, or India should know what black seed is. Black seed oil, black seed bitter, black seed itself. Like, people know what that is in different parts of the world. But obviously, like, when I had talked about Black Seed and um, Dr. Sabi's group they made for him on uh, Facebook, they said that Black Seed isn't on Dr. Sabi's approved herb list. And I was like, why not? <laughs> you know, like, and they don't even got no reasons for it. They have no reasons. All they all they doing is going to his website and looking at all his herbs. And then they made a Facebook based on his website of herbs. And if his if the herb wasn't on his website, they're not gonna recommend it. If the herb isn't on his website for sale, something you could go to his website and buy. Rest in peace to the great man, but man, these people were trying to make money off of, I'm just saying. So if the herb or natural medicine that you're looking into or someone suggests to you on that Facebook group and it's not for sale on a website, then they're not going to recommend it because all they're doing is pushing the same herbs that are on his website that he sells. Nothing more and nothing less. That's it. So that everything that they push out, you can just go straight for to the uh, website and purchase it. You know, like, I, I just don't feel comfortable. With, that's not right. That's just not cool. I can see something wrong with that kind of um, behavior. Okay. I'm not, people need help. And people are sick and people are dying and people are this and that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't buy none of Dr. Sabi's uh, stuff. Once upon a time, I planned to, but then, you know what I learned? I could make my own. That's what happened to me. I started making my own medicines, my own natural capsules, my own herbal medicines. I buy them by the pound. I buy the uh, vegetable capsules. I capsule them up and I take them, you know, and it got to a point where like, I didn't want to take capsules no more. And I just started getting spoonfuls of the herbs and just taking it in the mouth and drinking it down with water. So, I mean, I'm just saying, like, there's just a lot of things that are going on in the world right now that people need to pay more attention to. So, like, right here, I got my, um, my resin blend. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. The back's kind of, like, uh, foggy from all the different resins I have in here. But that's what I'm, I'm burning up. This is called Apanux. Apanix resin. Right. You put it on a charcoal and it just starts um, emitting smoke into the air. It's a, all natural. This is all natural and organic though. This isn't like toxic. I got all kinds of different um, resins in here. Like this is a copal, copal, 
and I have some uh, frankincense. I have copal, and I have some frankincense in here. And um, yeah, like I'm just getting my room ready and getting my environment ready for like the day. You know, I'm just getting it ready for today because this is how I get down. I'm a naturalist. Um, so yeah, like that's like the only thing I had against like the whole uh, Dr. Sabi group on Facebook. Um, was that when somebody I did know uh, invited me to the group? And it's a big group. There's like a million people in there, if I'm not mistaken. There's like a million people in this group. No joke. There's like hundreds of thousands of people in this group. So like, when I got invited to the group, I was just like, damn. Okay, this is cool. This is tight. Like, it was cool. But then like, people started posting stuff. And you know me, I have a vast experience, knowledge, intelligence, and medical and natural medicines and healing, um, you name it, therapies, all kinds of different therapies that are natural. I have so much damn experience that you, you think I look the way I look because I'm unhealthy, because I live an unhealthy lifestyle, because I smoke cigarettes and I shoot up and I eat pizza for breakfast? No, I don't look this way and feel the way I do because of that. I live a natural lifestyle. So, um, it's like when I got to the group, when I got invited to the uh, Dr. Sebi group on Facebook, I'm just saying, like, damn, like, are you serious? Like, there was people asking, like, um, what's this herb and what's that herb? What's this herb and what's that herb? I'm telling people, like, do your research. Like, why are you in a group of people asking what is this herb on the internet. See, that's why I'm saying there's a difference between smart, wise, intelligent people, normal people who are just normal. There's nothing wrong with them. Then you got your dumb, stupid idiots. Those people. It's hard to save those people. It's hard to bring those people on board to even the normal people and the intelligent, conscious, health aware people is really hard. Um, and I say that because you have people in, uh, okay, so there was people in the group, right? And they're on the internet already, right? So you gotta have the internet to get on Facebook and to communicate and be a part of the community, right? So you gotta have internet to get onto Facebook, right? Okay, let's just say we gotta have some type of data and internet to get on Facebook. And then you log on to Facebook, you get in, you go to the group, now you're asking people, oh, what's this, what's that? Oh, what's, uh, you know, what's wormwood? What's, um, what's black, what's black walnut? You know, uh, what's, um, I, I could see a gum powder, you know, like what, what are these things? Um, see, and that's like right there. When I started seeing that and noticing that type of shit, <laughs> I was like, this is not the place for Donovan. This is not the place for D money, baby. That's what I said. This is not the place for me. I already knew it off the back. That wasn't the place for me, but I tried to give it a chance. I tried to give them a chance. So, even though I said, well, this Facebook page obviously isn't for me because I see a lot of dumbasses. And the reason why I call people dumbasses is because that's just my personal opinion. My personal opinion of a dumbass my personal opinion or my definition of a dumbass is a person like this someone who is too dumb to hop on Google hop on Bing hop on Yahoo hop on the search engine bro someone who is too stupid 
to not hop on the search engine to get your answers or at least to investigate, to research, to study it, to whatever your question is before you go to like a Facebook group and ask the question is like, what is a woman? What is a dog? What is a frog? What is a hat? What is a gun? What is a phone? Am I going to go to Facebook and ask these people this shit? Or am I going to do it myself? With the resources I have. And you see, that's like... It's just... It don't make no damn sense. Not to me. So... They ended up... um Deleting, like, removing all of my comments that I was posting on people's posts about recommending things to them. And they say you can't post things that aren't on Dr. Sabi's uh, approved herbal list. Dr. Sabi never approved the list to begin with, bro. I never heard him say, oh, I have Dr. Sabi, me, Dr. Sabi, I have an approved herbal list. Who created that shit, bro? Not him. I don't think so. And that's all that's this is what I got against the Facebook group. This is what I have against them. Is the boo the BS, the buggle bees, the boo boos, the boogers, the wannabes, the fakeness. It don't even make sense to me, bro. At all. It does not make sense. No, and I'ma sit here and talk about it. Because no one else seems to be talking about no actually I have ran into two people, a couple a couple, a man and a wife, a wife and a husband, um out of Atlanta and they're uh they're um African Americans and they spoke about this before I could and this was a year ago. No, no, it was Almost a year ago, at least. It was in the beginning of this year, I believe. Maybe January or December. But, um... Basically, um... What they were saying was... Yeah, Dr. Sabi, he brought a lot to the table. He opened up a lot of people's eyes and minds. And helped them... Uh... See something bigger for themselves. And that they also were saying that, um, you know, but like I, they didn't say this, but this is what I'm saying. Dr. Sabi isn't the end all be all. He isn't. You got to take that. You got to take what he brought and what he put on the table. And you got to times that by 100. You understand? Because that's only a piece of the puzzle of life. Of your life, if you want to live a health, if you want to live a healthy life, what Doctor Sabi brought to the world and what he left in his legacy, rest in peace. You have to take what he left you, and you have to roll with it. You have to develop it. You have to grow from it. You have to um, make it better. You have to um, upgrade it. And you have to keep telling people and teaching more people. Like, that's how it works. It's just not that sick. Like, you just go to his website and buy that, this and that and the other. No, that's not how it works. There's a diet involved. There's herbs, vitamins, minerals involved. Cleansing involved. What also is involved. What I'm trying to get to you is... If you combine Dr. or if you combine Dr. Sabi, if you combine his therapy, if you combine Dr. Sabi's therapy with Dr. Gerson's therapy, if you combine Dr. Sabi's therapy and if you combine that with Dr. Gerson's therapy, what do you have? In my mind, you have the ultimate health lifestyle plan. You have the ultimate healthy lifestyle plan. If you combine Dr. with Dr. Sabi brought and advance it because 
and ignore that approved um approved Dr. Sabi's list. That's a bunch of BS. I'm telling you right now, it's the money baby. That is a bunch of BS. There is no approved Dr. Sabi's list. There's only the list that's on his website and they pushing that into the Facebook group, okay? They're pushing his on his website where you buy his supplements from and they're pushing all the supplements onto the website and if you talk about herbs vitamins minerals supplements that aren't on his website that you could purchase then they're going to be uh knocked off as uh not approved so that that way they see it as losing money probably you know what i mean like they probably do see it as losing money. Like if I was to come, if since I came into that group that one day or that one time, and I got invited, and I was like, "Yeah, black seed, this, you know, uh, whatever, uh, herbal supplements, this for that." People were that like people were asking for help. What can I use for this? What can I use for that? And I'm just dropping dimes, bro. Just dropping dimes. Like okay, okay, I'm getting notifications. I'm dropping dimes, giving them the knowledge, right? And then I'm coming back later. I'm like. Hey, didn't I post on that one? Hey, didn't I post on that one? Hey, didn't I comment on that one too? Like, what happened to it? So they took my shit down, right? You know, I'm like, damn, like, are you serious? Like, I'm trying to help people, and they took my shit down. So, um, yeah, like I said, I feel like the group on Facebook for Dr. Savy is going to do it could do more good than it is if they had um, a bigger mind, if they were more open to see things differently because they always talk about Dr. Sabi, Dr. Sabi, Dr. Sabi, Dr. Sabi, but I don't hear not one damn word about Pablo Medina. Not one word about Pablo Medina. Not one word, dude. Not at all. Nope. Not one word about Pablo. Why is that? Can't anybody tell me why they don't talk about Pablo? Huh? Because they probably fake. They probably ain't really doing what Dr. Sebi was doing. No one's going to run the business like you run your business. No one's going to drive your car and care about your car like it's your car. When it's yours, it's yours, and you do it a certain way. And when someone does it differently, Dr. S I have a feeling if Dr. Sebi was alive. I have a, doc I have a feeling if Dr. Sebi was alive. <laughs> they wouldn't be getting away with the shit they're getting away with. But like I said... They can have, they say, uh, approve list, approve that, approve, blah, blah, blah. But they don't mention not one word about what Pablo Medina has to say, do they? Think about that. Think about that shit. Pablo Medina. He taught Dr. Sebi everything. But yet, they don't have a Pablo Medina approved herbal list, do they? No. Because they're a bunch of shysters, more than likely. And that's from D-Money Baby himself, eh? I don't play, bro. I've been doing this for a minute. Long time. I take care of myself. I eat good. You know, I do cleanses. I got an enema bucket. I do enemas. I take my herbs. I do... Man, mix the Dr. Sebi. But it's more than Dr. Sebi. Like, that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. Like, there was Dr. Sebi and there was his herbs. But then I was like, damn... There's like 200 plus more herbs out there. That's what I'm trying to tell you. There's like two, three, four hundred more herbs out there outside of what Dr. Sebi was talking about. Okay? That's why I tell people, you know, use Dr. Sebi as like a uh, foundation and grow from it. For real. You grow from it. Go from Dr. Sebi. If you go from Dr. Sebi to Dr. Gerson, you got it. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. That's all you need. If you do Dr. Sebi and the Gerson therapy and you mix it together, you own. You own. That's all I got to say, dude. Um, I'll be back, though. I'm going to get off of here real quick.
Yep, I'll be back, y'all. For sure. It's your boy, it's the money baby. <laughs>